All right, let's talk now about our call of the day. It is Charles Schwab, reiterated overweight at J.P. Morgan. The firm saying sometimes bad is good for Schwab. Kerry, we bring it up because you added to that stock. Why now? Well, the stock's down 30 percent from its peak last year, and the fear is that clients of Schwab will require higher interest rates on their deposits, which, which of course will be true. Money market funds, as we know, have paid nothing and checking accounts nothing. And so, yes, Schwab will have to pay more. But on the other side, and much more important, is their entire asset base on which they will get higher interest rates on short-term money that they have out. And that is much more powerful than the negatives on client cash sorting. And if you take the most punitive case for the client sorting side and you add in higher interest rates, 50 percent increase in EPS for 2023. And that means that Schwab trades for 13 times next year's earnings, which we think is very attractive. And that's the lowest multiple it's traded for in 10 years. So that's why we added to the position. OK. Another one is Oppenheimer upgraded the CME group to outperform price target to 223. You own that, too. You bet. And we own that. Um, you know, it was a, a great stock, and then it's fallen with the market, um, as, as everything has. They have exchanges on every type of asset class, whether it's uh, metals, oil, commodities, stocks, Bitcoin, et cetera. And we would think that over the next year or two, there's going to continue to be volatility in markets. And that plays for CME, and that increases their earnings per share. So, yes, we think it's it's uh, an attractive stock right here, and uh, we think over the next 12 months it will beat the market. Okay. And then finally, SockGen upgraded JP Morgan to a buy. I mean, that seems to be uh, all the rage, Joe, these days, right? Get more positive about the banks, certainly this week. Bank stocks start to perform well. Now the analysts come out and say, oh, they're great. Jamie Dimon had the comments, and you bought the stock. I did, and I'm and happy to do so. I also own. Morgan Stanley of Bank of America, but I, I like the confidence that was exhibited uh, from, from Jamie Dimon on a valuation perspective. It's right there with, with Bank of America, uh, and it's a stock that I think uh, you can define your risk on the downside and be comfortable knowing that management, based on their commentary over the last couple of days, has a strong playbook uh, that they'll be utilizing if we begin to see a deterioration in the economy and we begin to see some credit losses unfold. I think J.P. Morgan will be best able to handle those types of losses.